Scott. Yeah, traffic moving along pretty nicely as we are starting to see some rain, but it's not impacting the driving conditions so far. You know that prep work tonight, though, is vital as the storm draws nearer. MEMA urging residents to document what they have and get ready for a storm system that has some signs of what we saw in March. We are seeing something that we haven't seen probably since late March. Emergency responders are perhaps even more guarded after the March 24th storms that did so much damage across the central part of the state. Residents are reminded to get ready and take any storm threat seriously. Tornadoes are uh, possible and so we want people to have those ways of getting those alerts. We're urging people today just stay weather aware with your meteorologist on your phone making sure that you're monitoring the weather. This storm system has a threat of hail, which can bring even more damage to an area rocked by high winds and rain. In March of 2013, thousands of cars suffered severe damage by widespread hail, and auto body shop operators say even small preparations now can go a long way to protecting your vehicles. If you're prepared, if you're not out in the elements and you're at home, you could put some cardboard boxes over your car. Uh, you could also put some blankets or just anything to protect uh, the dents. State insurance department officials say you should also make sure you have your insurance documents in hand and take pictures or video of your home and what's inside. You should have your documents together. Be sure that you have your cell phone with you. Take pictures before the storm hits and then the straight lines hit, especially on the outside if you have trees. It's going to be bad if trees blow down, and you know that. And if one blows on your house, you're really going to need a cell phone to contact your agent. Well, MEMA says it has full staff on duty tonight, as well as agents from Wildlife and Fisheries and the Department of Public Safety ready to respond if needed. Everyone being urged to make sure you have those weather alerts turned on on your cell phones. And if you haven't done it yet, be sure to download that weather alert app from WAPT. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.